Drummer. He's, he's back. Endings. The drummer's back. He's so he's good. I mean, he's got like, such a get... groove until literally, the, you know, you give him the nod to guess it we're done now like that. And he just literally chops out on some He was other the only track. one that was available for this video. This is the problem, is it? He's yeah. no Bob Knight. That's for sure. That's right. for sure. Right. Welcome back, everybody, to Edmonton's TV. Woo! Excited um, about these, man. We are. Yeah. Um, we got some affordable guitars, really affordable guitars here. Um, and as has uh, been the case <coughs> in recent videos. My side of the room is using affordable backline too. So I've got a, a Laney Super Cub. What's, super that cup. In, uh, what's that in French? Super Cup. Uh, le, 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 le Cup. Le, le Super Cup. <laughs> um, and I've got uh, some affordable pedals. So I'm, most of my effects are coming from the TC Plethora X5. Yeah, and my affordable. overdrives are um, a TC Zeus and a Nobles. ODR1. And I have got my trusty DP40 and uh, a pedal board that probably cost more than my car. <laughs> Even your house, maybe. My hat's cost. You <laughs> know what? Expensive, you know what? Pedal board. You're going to need this for the weekend. Yes. Yeah, you got I that thing am. on, haven't you? Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, I've been looking forward to these even since I've been seeing uh, them out in the wild. Yes. In hands of uh, such people as the incredible Tomo Fujita. Yes. We'll he, talk about him in a bit. We'll talk about him in a bit. Um, on screen now is a picture of an AZ guitar. AZ, AZ. I mean, AZ, the argument AZ. will rage on forever. Where? So, can you just give. Can you just. Because I don't know. Is it AZ here or is it AC here? Do it's, you say AZ? Uh, the, the Queen's English says Z. Z. Uh, it A was Americanized into Z so that when kids are learning their ABC, they can rhyme. So ABC, so C, a curly, which is called a curly cur. Yes, which right. Which makes no As sense either. As opposed to a kicking cur. Yeah, but why is it a kicking cur? Because it's because kick. You, because you spell the word kick with a with that with a K. And I curl with hey. a C. Curly cur. Oh, see, you learn something Could every day. Any uh, reception year phonics teachers out there want to comment below? <laughs> Tap away. Um, yes. So anyway, I, did, did we put a, I think we may have put a picture on screen yes, of, of an AZ of a proper guitar. One. Proper one. This came out two or three years ago, and it was Ibanez's kind of, I guess, most up-to-date foray into what you'd class like a super, a traditional super strat mm -hmm. rather than like a, an RG style super strat. Quite expensive, you know, Japanese made, yeah. and there, there was a, a, a more affordable Indonesian one, but, uh, but that was still over a thousand pounds. Yeah, really popular though, yeah. really, really popular. Videos um, up in this corner. Do like that and there. subscribe so you don't miss um, anything. <laughs> but of course, if your budget is more modest than that, maybe you're starting out, getting your second guitar, something like that. Yeah. Uh, and you want to spend about three hundred pounds. In fact, you need change home from three, uh, change from three hundred pounds, so that you can buy something, you know, like for under a pound, basically. Oh, is that like, um, <laughs> you might what can you get for a pound these days? In the pound a shop, pick. almost anything. You can buy a car in the pound shop. I bought <laughs> shoes in there for a pound and, and Can you imagine placed. how bad they'd be? <laughs> um, so, um, A-Z-E-S. <laughs> E-S stands for essential, meaning uh, basically it's all the essential ingredients to make a guitar, but nothing more, nothing less. So nice. pasta, uh, yes. uh, can of tin tomatoes. Beans, tuna. Yeah. Um, right. Two models in different colours. Yes. This one is the three single coil model. That uh, one is the HSS model. Yeah. Uh, there are other differences than just that. So hardtail here, tremolo system there. Tremolosos. Um, 
I'm not entirely sure why the color choices were made, but oh, this is my favorite color. I think. Okay, so the the Ingvi Mountain. The three single coil guitars are available in red or um, this off white, yellow, yeah. whatever you want to call that. Uh, if HSS is your thang, you can go black, a sort of a minty green or a darker blue. The yeah, I mean, what? what Minty is Green, he was the original uh, Fleetwood Mac guitarist, wasn't he? Was he? Something Minty Green? I think so. <laughs> Till he disappeared in the, in, the, yes. in the Black Forest in Germany. And just, he came back, but he never came, he came never back came from back. that, did he? No, no, he never a pack came of back extra strong that. mints, that was why he was called Minty Green. Um, <laughs> Minty Fresh. Uh, we do ramble here, don't we? So, basically, no. it's a little bit like, I'm going to just throw this out there. It's got a little bit of that vibe of one of the nice Yamaha Pacificas about it. You know where you get like a nice neck, you can see the fretwork's good. Satin. The ch Yeah, satin tuners. Uh, satin tuners. Satin. <laughs> <laughs> Nights in satin tune. Um, uh, Ibanez stamped tuners, but they're the kind of tuners that you get on all guitars around about this sort of price, kind of contemporary tuners. Nice heel joint, right? With the recessed uh, bolts holding yeah. it on. But not um, full access like the other one. So if you look at an American no, one, it'll have a bit more curvature in and, and without. And this the, is where, again, I think you need to have realistic expectations about some of the finishing detail in the in the recesses here. You know, you might get the odd bit where there's a little bit of, like, you know, you can see missing. through to the wood, but that's yeah. kind of normal. Uh, this is not faulty. The uh, ferrule <laughs> for the bottom E string is is slightly different place. I guess that's a tension thing. Um, really nice... Uh, saddles yes. so they're, they're these kind of like a rolled steel saddle like you'd get on a traditional fender but whereas the fenders kind of have a little jaggedy bit that sometimes sticks up and if you're you know if you palm rest here and do that you get little especially pouchy, on, on, pouchy. The, on, the, on the more affordable fenders yeah. they can have the little jaggedy edges yes these aren't done like that so they're rolled all the way around to make it all beautiful and curvy and nice it's one of Steven Tyler's kits jaggedy etch isn't it <laughs> is it <laughs> Wasn't, he's in you too, isn't he? <laughs> Jaggedy um, yeah. So, uh, right, Jaggedy tones wise, come, come back. I really like this little magic switch it's here, the alter awesome. switch. Yeah. Some really clever extra tones here. Sometimes I, I think brands put switches on and then give you like useless tone settings. This I rather like. So, pointing towards the, t oh, in fact, one other thing. They, oh yeah, they, very important. They, yeah, really important. Sorry for the crack, let's put my tuner on. Um, <clears throat> That. The, that. Jack, the jack socket here is, <laughs> on affordable guitars, sometimes even expensive guitars, a real bane because it, 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 they can, the nut that holds the um, jack socket there uh, just, you know, the more you put the, the plug in and out, the more it sort of wobbles and uh, comes off. And then when it does fall off, what happens is your guitar can often stop working. So Ibanez have designed something here where there's no external nut holding it in place. It's just one piece. Yeah, it's quite really clever, isn't it? Very robust. We yeah. like it. Very, very cool. Um, and it's a solid, it's a solid thing, apparently, isn't it? The whole thing. Solid thing. thing. <laughs> so, um, I'll tell you about the altar switch and Pete will have to do the same on his. It, other, other than the, the pickups and the trim system, these are the same guitar, same necks, same fretboard, same yeah. weight. Oh, you, I'll blend, you tell, you tell me how this works. You know, I will. Because I wasn't paying attention um, before. I didn't think you were. <laughs> so I will turn all my effects off. This is my clean <coughs> sound into the super carb. Feels Good really lamp, nice to play. So switch down towards the tone control, yep. normal, a yep. uh, normal SSS setting. So SSS. neck, these two. Passive ceramic pickups, I should say, in these. Now, alter switch up. Position one now, <coughs> these two pickups, but wired in a way that they're going to sound like a humbucker uh, as opposed to when you have two pickups engaged here. So here would be your normal two single coils. See how much fuller. So now it's more like the neck pickup on, say, a Les Paul or something like that. Next position down stays the same as it is in this position. So it's so these two together. Two together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This position now is these two. And that's, I'm sure that's like a Dave Gilmore or, rock, the rock or, uh, or was it Richie Blackmore? What, you know, so basically where you get the bridge and the neck pick up together. So if I compare that to just the middle pickup on its own. Very cool. 
Next position, again, doesn't change, so it's just these two wired how they would normally be on mm -hmm. uh, a three single coil guitar, but back position now is these two wired uh, like a humbucker again. Ooh. So all of a sudden, especially with gain, as opposed to So yeah, that's, that's cool. That's good. Right? Very All cool. 299 pounds, remember? What? A lot of guitar. Uh, Mr. Pete, do your yes. position, your normal position ones, yeah. and then I'll tell you how it changes. Um, it, can I just, before I do that, is it slightly shorter? It's a 25 inch scale length from memory, so it's it's a smidgen shorter than a strap, but it's. Yeah, uh, I thought, because it feels slightly. Maybe the body's a little bit more compact. Yeah, I mean, if I we don't know. compare just, uh... it to. Let's have a little look. Here is a Squire Stratomacaster, the most famous three single coil yeah, guitar looks in the world. More, it is smaller, isn't it? More compact. Would we say that the, the, the red one is a That's little a good, smaller? We need, to, we need to compare those two. Well, don't for we? shizzle. Because that's kind of the the, the price there. There'd be like price yeah. warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ka-ching! Oh, uh, so yeah. Um, again, switch down with a tone and a volume. You don't have the same as you, you know. You get a switch instead of a knob. Anyway, so switch down normal position. That sounds good. Neck pick up. Uh, and this one uh, has the tremolo system, so you got your. Uh, is that five in the three? Might be a bit critical of the tremolo system. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, one of those sort of uh, slightly. What do you call them? Agricultural? I don't know. Like, I mean, I personally, I would just sort of leave it because it. Or use it a bit, and at least use it. This is uh, flush with the body, so it doesn't go backwards. But it's still. I think you just need to use it a bit, and then it may be able to settle in a little bit. Maybe. And the tuning, uh, that's why yes. I prefer the ones with just this, yes. this, yes, 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 yes. I think it's fine to just leave anyway, it flat to the body and then just don't touch it. Four. Straight into the amp. Straight. Position three. And let's see what happens. It's all right. That's okay. Can we say that That's was okay. that was less stable in rehearsal? Uh, yeah. I say rehearsal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean the, we the could, they've, they've been sitting downstairs in boxes started. and opened them up and get them up here and acclimatise. That's so. good. Anyway, here's position number two. So what's <coughs> happening in two? Yes. Is it's just the front one of the two just, pickups just in the that one. Bucket. You can and, definitely well, and hear the middle, and the middle and one. The middle one yes. Yeah. You can definitely hear. And then the back position is the humbugger, right? Oh, Whoosh! Sheesh. Yeah, that, oh. is, uh, that, that wants to go. That wants to go. Yes, good sound there, Lee. So let's... Um, Try, should we hear the humbugger with a little bit of gain? Yes, let's do that. A little bit of gain from the Dane. Very nice. 
Yes, absolutely. Um, so this whole thing has got a name, and I can never remember what it is. It's uh, Little Mix. Dynamix. It's Little Mix. Dynamix uh, with a... Magimix. With a, Magimix with a... Uh, Dynamix 9, it's called. I'm guessing there because there must be nine, different, nine settings. different settings, maybe. I think so. But it Could is be. the same as the names that they give the guitars. It's like... It doesn't matter. Right, so anyway, let's go to go the up. Dynamix 2 position. Up in the up position. Uh, so the first position is now the two, uh, the front two pickups okay. wired like a humbucker. Okay. A fat with Fatter a bit of gain. and louder. Yep, yep, absolutely, yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. The second position, or position oh, four as it's often we, known, we, is the neck pickup and the further, the closest one to the bridge of the single coil. So yes, this one so and this one. Exactly. Take, take that off. And on. Yeah, okay. okay. The yeah, next like position that. is all three pickups, but with the front two wired as humbuckers and then the humbucker at the back. So, oh, so like, like two humbuckers. Like the middle position on a Les Paul. just realized as well this one i think is the dynamix 8 because it has eight different positions ah, yeah, and that's yeah, the dynamix yeah, 9 because yeah, yeah, it's the 9 we. anyway may we okay uh, let me just go Yeah, 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 next, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next uh, in position, duh, yeah. uh, is just a split. It's the single coil. It's one of the coils. Just it's, one of the coils. It's that one that your finger's on now on its own. Okay. That down it'll be these two, yeah? Correct. That's that quacky... Uh... I, thought, I thought you just had played Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on, baby. I like Beautiful. that. That's kind of a. With a bit of compressor. <laughs> and then, lastly, yes. uh, the back humbucker is always the back humbucker, regardless of where the so auto whether switch you are. Is. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hence the reason why you only have nine different positions and not yeah. ten. Man, it's, that's a lot, and this is two ninety nine. It's crazy. Two ninety nine for this system. It sounds great, yep, man. Yeah, we got a poplar body. Very Maple popular. neck Jatoba fretboard. So I like it. And again, I kind of like the fact that on the AZ series, um, I'm going to keep saying AZ rather than AZ because it's just otherwise. AZ. I, can't, I can't win. I either, I, I either yeah, annoy yeah. my uh, British uh, brethren or I annoy my American cousins. Um, Actually, you just annoy everybody. <laughs> yeah. you know, it doesn't matter if you say uh, it or not. It's <laughs> the sort of traditional Ibanez logo that was yeah. on the sort of the roadsters back in the 70s and stuff. So it's kind of not... It, it, it's its own vibe rather yeah. than RG, which is much more of a kind of a metal vibe. I want it? one so, of those old roadsters. Absolutely, yeah, great it's a great guitar. And yeah, I like the fact that the headstock is lacquered, but the back of the neck is on is satin finish. Totally it just agree. Gives it, it makes it pop a little bit. Yep. You know? Yeah. So look, there's nothing I bad mean, to say about know, these. Uh, yawn, yawn. We always say this, but you know, you never had yeah. it so good and all that rubbish yeah. cliche. <laughs> when we were young. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, I try and be subjective around about the three hundred pounds. What could you buy? I mean, I still think you know Yamaha Pacifica is still a contender. Although I think for me, the the original Pacifica looks a bit 
old now, you know, that sort of yeah, well, satin wood one, but, uh, and of course you've got oh, Squire. The, I see the satin wood, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. The, But great guitar still, built to a very high standard. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, you know, Squire, but, but it's an interesting one with Squire, because that you've either got to go down to either the, the Bullet or the bullet, Affinity series, like the which is yeah. quite a lot less than this, or Classic Vibe, which is not a lot more, but it's probably another hundred pound or 50 to a hundred pound more. 60 quid, yeah. and it's, much more of a vintage feeling and looking guitar. Yeah, you got the lap as, neck and all that different yeah. stuff. Well, maybe some, there's, there's contemporary series by Squire, which hasn't been as popular, I think, as they thought it might be. So, but I mean, so look, hats off to Ibanez. I don't know that in the video I watched with uh, Tomo, there's a sort of sense that he might have collaborated or suggested a few pointers to Ibanez. So fair play for asking someone like yeah. Tomo if you did, because you yeah. know, don't follow him don't as well because it's he... much better than him. Yeah. Um, Great teacher. Yes, uh, yep. professor at Berkeley. Absolutely. And of professor course, of wildly famous for having taught me to play. No, uh, John Mayer <laughs> to play guitar. Or at least been his. Uh, no one can teach you to play. Been his uh, teacher at uh, Berkeley. Yeah, exactly. So that's there where we go. From. Yeah. So there we go, man. Yeah. That's it. Like and subscribe please, we do. for these videos. And, yeah. uh, you know, maybe, we, maybe we'll, we'll be here tomorrow. Maybe we'll play out something a little rockier because I, yes. I guess all you kids out good. there want to play rock. You don't want to play this kind of jazz funk malarkey that we all This wasn't play. even jazz funk. This was just like <laughs> laid back. Laid, laid back. back Sally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>